hello people welcome back to my channel so in today's video my sister will be interviewing the mr and mrs aderi big bay it's their one year anniversary today and i just hope you guys will enjoy it thank you bye hi guys so welcome back to our channel today mm. we're interviewing mr and mrs aderi big bay mm. today is their anniversary yes <laughs> <laughs> they are one year in marriage. Wow. Now, we have some questions for Mr. and Mrs. Adele And I hope that you'll be able to follow us. And stay tuned and enjoy. Mrs. Adele Bikbe, now, you look pretty this evening. Thank you. Yes, please. Now, I want to ask you, you have a baby, a daughter right now. And um, I would like to know, how has that been able to, how has that changed or affected your marriage? Okay. Um, it has, if not that I mentioned it, I only have seen it on my own part that um, the coming of the baby has affected the marriage. But for the fact that I have said it, um, I think a few months after I had my baby that, uh, baby, you are now shifting the whole attention. Uh, this baby needs attention. And coupled with the fact that I have to, you know, babysitting is not easy. Yes. So there are some times that when it comes close, that see, I, I do not sleep overnight. And it has really, really affected the yeah. marriage because yeah. before now, you know, I could wake up very early and prepare something to get breakfast. But after the arrival of the baby, the sleepless nights, mm. the the whole work, I just get tired on time. So it has really, really affected some of my my duty as a wife. But not. Like, uh, let me just say, just twenty percent. Mm -hmm. Not like it really took the mm -hmm. whole lot, but there was just a slight shift and a slight change. But all the same, we love it and we're here for it. Now, Mr. David B, we know you, but we don't know you. So please tell us what is the most romantic thing you've done for your wife while married. The most romantic. I yeah. don't think I've even done the most. Ah. <laughs> let's then let's. What's the romantic thing you've ever done for your wife? I hope he's not bringing that out today. <laughs> <laughs> the most romantic. I will still talk about the proposal. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I've not. That's. I can't quantify it. That question should be asked for her because me, I, I can say can maybe say yes. this is one thousand yes, percent. No, let's hear your part. That she you will agree know. or disagree. You cannot push anything. Every day is a romantic day. It's a romantic day. The most romantic thing I've ever done. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so madam, tell I us what what's the most romantic thing that your husband did for you, and you're like, ooh, they boss my hair. <laughs> So please tell us, madam. Um, even before marriage, is a, is a man of surprise. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so this know. this this <laughs> this man right here decided to surprise his wife all the way from or what to Zaria. To Zaria. Hmm, was so, it a, a night bus that you yeah, took? Yeah, night ah. bus. I left, ah. I left over around 5 p.m. Wow. And even I got there around 4.30. Wow. wow, just to say, would you marry me? Guys, come on, you should emulate him. That's a, <laughs> that's a nice one. So, so it's a mouthful of surprises and I think my birthday. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I think my birthday. Please, please tell us, tell us, tell us. So that we can live. <laughs> yeah, tell us what he did, please. Okay, it wasn't on my birthday, but before my birthday, birthday. he sent me some gifts. Like, wow. baby, this is your birthday gift. I was like, ah, no, I'm not, I wasn't even expecting it. He got me a dress, actually. Aww. And I wasn't, I didn't even know what I was going to put on, on my birthday. Aww. When Aww. I got that gift, I what address and everywhere was set <laughs> so guys they went to a woman's house 
be nice, be romantic, yeah, yeah. think ahead. Okay, so Mr. David B, my questions, in fact, they are getting smaller and smaller by the moment because you guys are just so awesome. You guys are so nice. Um, what's the... Oh, should I ask this question? Hmm. What's the worst Hello? quarrel you guys have ever had? Oh. Hello. Because <laughs> I know mine. <laughs> Please tell us, tell us, tell us. <laughs> that quarrel that you are like, yeah, will I talk to this woman tomorrow? <laughs> Please tell us. What was it? I hope you were not the one that started the show. <laughs> my own is my own is two two minutes two two minutes. Ah, what I Two two minutes. Um, I do tell her if I'm not around, I I would send that text message. I miss our little little quarrels. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that serious, <coughs> but me, I love, I, I talk a lot. Okay. I talk a lot. Would you marry? Okay. I must say, I must mm. tell you my own. Ah, mm. No, I don't like this, I don't like this. Yes. And I will say it so that we change the meaning. Change. We, 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 and I'll be if, angry. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but I will intentionally say so that, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Uh -huh. I will know that, okay, uh, it seems she, she, she already got the, the message. message. I think on on Valentine's Day we had. <laughs> oh yeah 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 yeah. Two days we... before our baby came. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Very before, so I was like, God, this day is almost to be very yeah. mm -hmm. not, not this. Wow. We had a very serious fight. It was mm -hmm. after the whole jolly jolly day. during the day, then at night. At no, night. no no no, it wasn't at night. Too. <laughs> it was at night. We started now. in the afternoon. We went out <laughs> in the evening. Okay. We went there together, I left, I, I went back home, I left out with her, okay, I'm coming. People that were expecting us, they, they saw me, and I said, I'm coming, I want to go and attend to someone, it's a lie. I just left, she didn't know I left. So later she was not talking, come now, come now. No. But later I now thought about it, okay, let me just, let me go. Let me just be there, be there. So the whole thing started in the afternoon. She didn't know, Shana. She didn't know. She thought it was that night. That no night. She thought it was night. That was the first verse. I was expecting it. It would be all romantic. Yeah. That we might do, you know, kind of hanging out. And he just he he took a back <laughs> a backflip. <Yeah. laughs> I know, but at the end of the day, that's what marriage is all about. Two different people from two different backgrounds, yeah. two different upbringings, different. coming together, yeah. living together. So there kind of would be a friction one way or the other. But the good thing is that we always resolve it. We always move past it. So what is your advice to you couples about marriage? What's your advice to them? Um, for me my uh, this particular in fact to the good side you have to be patient mm -hmm. when it's coming out out just calm relax down. And calm down and um just like i was thinking about something today that sometimes you might not even love your spouse mm. but the love you Both receive man. The love you receive from your spouse, we, you know, influence your decision attitude, or yeah. your attitude sometimes. So it's very, very good you show your partner that you love that them. You love them so. Oh, that's nice. So how about you, Mr. David? Patience is virtue. Mm. Patience. Mm. And um, just be open. Be. I don't have any secrets. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't have any secrets. Since we started dating, yeah. I don't have any secrets. Before we got married, yeah. I make everything open. Okay. Then I password my phone, did a lot of things. Yeah. Still, still on password, but she, she has the password. Yes. Everything. And that's how it's supposed everything. to be, guys. Mm -hmm. No secrets. I'm just plain. Yeah. Just be plain, be open. So that because. If you are keeping a secret and eventually your partner finds out, me as a person, if 
she's keeping a secret from me and I find find out on my own. Hmm. No, I don't I won't like it. Yes. I won't like it. But if I'm aware about it and someone that your wife is doing this hmm. uh, yeah, no problem, I know about it now. Hmm. Thank you very much. Hmm. But I'm not aware, I've not been aware, I've not I don't know anything about it and somebody now or oh, I now started seeing traces. Ah no. <laughs> I'm a jealous person. Mm. I'm a jealous person. Mm. You call jealous. Mm. Mm. Ah, yes, so. very jealous. <laughs> that's, that's the reason why I told her that if we have babies, when we when baby, when the children start coming in, and if you love my children more than me. me. Ah. Wala -o. <laughs> <laughs> this one ah. wala -o. <laughs> So I do tell her so, so that she will know that this is my own child. Yes. And you are still loving this child God, I mean, you okay so me. guys his advice basically is be patient love your spouse there's a place for a spouse and there's a place for the children mm -hmm. you should always know that at the end of your marriage at the end of the day your children will always grow up and leave you and find their own spouse mm -hmm. and if you've not cultivated the intimacy between yourself as couples you find that you're all stuck and all alone so you need to cultivate that love and keep allowing it to flourish keep allowing it to grow so no matter what happens between both partner parties you should come together as a couple tell yourselves i'm finding it difficult with this particular area possibly taking care of the kids can you help me or can you be a little bit patient i'm going to attend to you soon once your partner knows that of course he or she will give you a little bit of break or even give you a bit of leverage by helping you out so it allows both couples to flourish. It allows both parties to have that intimacy. And when there's intimacy in a marriage, there is prosperity. Mm. So guys, thank you very much for staying tuned with, staying with us during this interview. Thank you so much for having a very good love time you. with us during this time. Yeah. We say we love you. We say thank you very much. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes, Please God. like our channel and don't forget forget to share. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Give us a kiss now. Hello. 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 Jesus said, Amen. 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 Am